many have suggested that this market needs to break the 3,149 point mark before we see any upside traction here. What are you, how confident are you in this market being able to push past that current resistance level and actually create a new channel of trade? Um, I think if, 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 if you look at the market, I think mis mixed trading has characterized uh, trading in Kenya for quite a while there. Um, but um, if we were to look at the, the, by the rest of the year and the outlook going forward, um, there, are, there is quite a significant chance that that uh, will be uh, broken quite, quite soon within the next uh, uh, two to three months. We might actually see, that, uh, uh, see the market go mm. past that point. I think one of the drivers is the fact that it has started to rain in Kenya and that tends to, 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 to more or less uh, increase the earnings outlook for some of the agricultural, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, some of the agricultural players there. And if we look at the market, agriculture is a very big, a significant contributor to their GDP. So you find that um, the bank, the outlook for the for the bank, bank certainly going forward for the next six months or so has has improved. improved yeah. And some of them have started to, to to actually show that in their numbers, some of the numbers are starting to get better. In fact, we've just seen late yesterday afternoon Barclays out with numbers. What did you make of those? Because uh, quite tempered growth, but still what the market has been anticipating, given uh, what we've seen from the other players within that space, standard charted, of course, aside. Yeah, um, I think uh, it, it really isn't a significant shift from 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 the factors we have mentioned earlier in the in, in during the course of the year um, about what uh, what are the factors affecting Kenya, um, the issues of the non-performing loans, the issues that uh, um, they. they Companies such as Barclays, which are in the banking sector, are, are more or less adopting a very conservative approach to try and trim down their growth. This is, of course, re re this this is of course reflected in the in the numbers uh, which they're currently producing, mm -hmm. where we only see 4.7 percent growth in their in the in their net income. I think, um, um, on the whole, the, uh, the it lo it looks a lot better when we look at the six-month outlook for for Kenya and the Kenyan banks as well than it does at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think investors have discounted that a lot at the moment and they're looking to position themselves um, going forward for the next six to 12 months. Well. In the meantime, Dexter, I mean, one of the reasons Barclays cited for uh, improvement in profit earnings is that it's managed its lending effect uh, effectively. Is this not a case of them not lending in the first place and lending being so restricted? It's a, an issue we've seen the Central Bank of Kenya harp on about for so long now. I think uh, in, 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 a, in a time of uh, economic, uh, um, in e economic turmoil that Kenya is, has been experiencing as well, along with the rest of the world for the past uh, six months, we do expect that uh, banks become a lot more careful as to who exactly they give their money to. And, um, um, Barclays is certainly no exception to that. I think they are one of the one of the most conservative banks in 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 Kenya, and we saw as we saw with their half year results as well that um, they they really did um, uh, they they really did slow down their lending yeah. quite a lot. And to the extent that we have seen the central bank trying to come in there and try to urge and to um, yeah. uh, put a, a, a bit more money liquidity into the market course, to encourage this, them, because this is becoming a pretty big strain and having a big impact on uh, the production on the manufacturing side of the economy and I mean we've seen cement players in the spotlight simply because uh, news reports have highlighted that they've been thrown this lifeline after regional governments and Kenya's Treasury backed their bid to phase out import duties at the same time though where they're so dependent on short-term lending as opposed to the availability of long-term funds what's your view on let's say the cement sector right now I think uh, the cement sector certainly is positive. We've seen the Kenyan government come up with infrastructure mm -hmm. bonds, as you mentioned earlier, um, to try and uh, um, bring up the, um, the, the, the productivity in that, in, in that sector. Um, our outlook for, for cement companies in Kenya is still very positive. Um, the, only, the only problem that they've been experiencing over the past uh, year or two is the fact that I think in 2008 they lowered, uh, duties were lowered mm -hmm. all across the, the board and they had quite a lot of fierce competition coming in from foreign companies from India, China and, uh, and other cement producers to the extent that uh, we've seen that the tariffs have now been um, increased a little bit. I think um, in, the, in, the, in the long run the, the very fact that you have foreign players coming in there indicates the, the, the attractiveness of mm -hmm. that sector and I certainly think um, this uh, the the increase in tariff duties comes in as a sh as a bit of a shot in the arm for some of the cement producers yeah. such as Bamburi, East African Portland cement at the river mining and so forth. 